Quickly before we get started in this video, I just want to let you guys know that apparently half of my viewers aren't subscribed, so make sure you are subscribed. Thank you very much, and let's get into the video. Yo guys, Features Gaming here and welcome back to another video here on the channel and today I am bringing you guys a tutorial on how to download Pro Mods for Euro Truck Simulator 2. Now if you don't know, Pro Mods is a massive mod that basically expands Europe a lot um, and basically makes the game virtually impossible to download unless you spend about 10 years consistently on it, which by far I don't think anyone has done. If any of you guys have finished this game with Pro Mods 10 years on from this video being uploaded, then by all means go ahead and do that. But for those of you who want to know how to download it, let's get into it. So firstly you are going to need an account with Pro Mods. So go to the website, there is a link in the description to find it easily. Go over and just create a uh, just create an account, it's completely free, no need to worry about viruses or scams or anything like that, it's completely free, so go ahead and create a profile. Next thing you want to do is head to the like taskbar thing at the top here and click on download right here, so click that button. Um, there's also something that tells you like how um, light the server is and stuff, so uh, currently at the moment of recording this video it's at 36% which is light. So firstly you are going to want to choose your language, um, so there's a bunch of different languages here like uh, Finnish, Greek, Indonesian, uh, as you can see a ton. Uh, I'm English so I'm going to select EN English and click OK. And then the second step, or the first step actually, is to generate your DEF file. Now this file is by far the most important file that you need to create in order to get Pro Mods to work. You need to have this file guys, otherwise Pro Mods will not work. So, you need to go on to the generate your DEF file. Now with your cabin interior sound level, you can choose whatever you want. I just prefer to use default interior sound. You can use any one of these five. Um, so yeah, even it with the slowest computer on earth that's run by a potato, you can indeed choose interior sound 16. But I leave everything really at default. Uh, damage level, you can have default damage, no damage or double damage. So you can have it very easy or super hard. I just leave it at default because I don't know. Uh, the vegetation drawing distance, this is how good your PC is. So I recommend the first two being standard PC, like standard laptops, and the two higher ones being as like gaming PCs. I have a gaming laptop, so I'm going to go with high drawing distance, but you select the one that best corresponds to your PC. And then the colour settings on, this is the roadmap, so you can change all of these if you really want to but you can leave them as the default Euro Truck settings and that's what I like to do because I use a different mod anyway that changes the colour. Secondly, and well the t last two things that you need to do is the map zoom compatibility if you are using a Rust map. I am not using that so I leave that unchecked. And also special transport DLC. If you are using special transport DLC or if you have the mod, I recommend you tick that as it will give you more jobs to use in the job market which is really cool. Then you click generate and your DEF file will start downloading. Now I already have this so I don't need that but you would go ahead and generate and that will go into your downloads folder. Then you can cancel out of that and you can go to step 2 so again you really need to install that DEF file guys otherwise this mod will not work. And this is the one, the last final step I think, or mainly the final step that you need to do. And it gives you a load of links to choose and it's really simple, there's basically two methods of downloading this mod. So you can either go with the fast option which is one archive, fast server, no ads, but there is a cost to downloading the full Pro Mods mod in one file which is one euro or 89p if you are British. You can download it and in the um, like paid version but you also have a free version 
which is really cool. And it is the slower option with split archives. There's seven files, and that's just for the Euro, and that's just for the Pro Mods thing. Uh, you can add on the Trader Company and Middle East add-on pack as well if you want to. But yeah, they're sponsored by ads as well. But it is the free method, so I do recommend going with the going with the free me method, even though it's a complete pain to sit through the installation. It's still the, you know, it's free. <laughs> what more can you ask for? I mean, yes, you do have the paid version, um, but I don't really use that. I just go with the free method. I normally just stick on a film and then every now and then check back with my PC to see if one is downloaded because you can't just go ahead and download all of them. You do have a max limit, which is two of these files can be downloaded at one time. So it's not just set them all downloading, jobs are good and wait for it to finish. You do have to sit through and go through every single download. And once you have done that, you should have the these um, things in your folders. So let me just go into my downloads folder. Uh, there we go. My downloads folder. You see that it gave us loads of ZZ files. Um, and these are the uh, these are the zip files that you need to extract. So basically, select all of the files that you need to extract. There's probably a few more that you need to do. Right click and then 7-zip or WinRAR, whichever you're using, and extract files. I do recommend though creating a new profile like on your computer somewhere and just call it ProMods. And then every single ProMod uh, file that you download, you put into that folder. That way you won't, you know, look at all of this. <laughs> You have loads of stuff and you don't know what is what. So I do recommend doing that and I will be doing that further on in the future as well. Once ProMods release, releases a new update, then I will go ahead and create a ProMods folder. Once you have up, or once you have extracted all of the folders, you need to collect you need to select the SCS files and go in and put them into your Eurotruck mod folder. And the way you do that is by well, just collecting the mods, whatever they are, right click, copy, then go to your documents folder, navigate to Eurotruck Simulator 2, click that, go to the mod folder if you haven't already, just right click new and just call it mod. Go into that folder and then you should hopefully be able to paste them into here. You can see that I do have Rust Map, but it's not compatible with ProMod, so I don't use it at the moment. And then all you have to do is just go into Eurotruck and enable them through the Mod Manager. And if you don't know how to do that, I have created a video on the channel about three years, three or four years ago actually, now, on how you can activate mods. So just go ahead into the description. There'll be a video linked, or there'll be a link to uh, go to that video. So then you guys know how to go to the mod manager and activate mods. And that's all you need to know about downloading pro mods. So I hope you guys did enjoy this video and it did help you out. If it did, leave a like on this video. That'll be awesome and thank you very much. Also make sure to subscribe as well so you never miss a video. And also make sure you have notifications turned on. That way you will be notified when I upload a video. But apart from that, I'm going to go now. So thank you for watching. Again, I'll see you in the next one. Until then, take care and peace out.